Hi, it's John Bradbury here, and this is a short video um, just describing some work that I did last week in Perth, Western Australia, with a group of leaders. And so there was a senior leader in this group, and then there was a group of um, supervisors and frontline leaders, or team leaders, if you like, um, all on a workshop, on, and we were discussing goals. And what came out of my discussion with the senior leader was some of the pain points that uh, he's currently facing when leading this group of frontline leaders. And so um, I came up with a sort of three level approach that seemed to resonate really well with the group of frontline leaders. So I just thought I would share that with you. And the three levels are of leadership that a frontline leader can engage in is the first level is like just having a focus on KPIs and being really aware of how those KPIs are tracking on an hourly basis or on a daily basis and giving regular feedback to your team members on how they are tracking as a team. The second level is to include the first level, but then also to add a focus on just process improvement. And by that, I, I mean all those little things that go wrong on a daily basis, anything that's repeating over and over again and becoming very annoying there's a sign that there's some work to do on improving the process. So we've got the KPI focus level one, then we've got process and system improvement level two. And then the third level, which I described to this group, was um, an ability to collaborate with other areas of the business or with other team leaders in the business. And this is a very different skill to apply as a leader because um, you know, you're talking now about interpersonal skills at this level you're talking about process improvement at the second level and at the first level you're talking about a basic understanding and awareness of kpis so and all, th all three of these levels can be coached and what the feedback that i got from the group was that um, they do all three levels from time to time but they're not consistent and and it's it's definitely true that not all of them engage in all three levels of leadership so it's, it's like a, a sort of very basic model on how to develop this team. And we'll be applying that, you know, in more, in, with more description at each level, we'll be applying that approach as this uh, development program progresses because it obviously resonated with this group. So anyway, I thought I'd share that and um, hopefully that's useful. And if you need any more information about this approach, uh, just get in touch with me. That's all for now. Thanks.